Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Are you ready to unlock the secret to a thriving garden using the most powerful, natural boosters available? What if I told you that the key to explosive plant health lies in four incredible, microbes-rich liquid fertilizers you can make right now, completely at zero cost? That's right. In this video, we're diving deep into four powerful, proven recipes for brewing potent liquid gold right in your backyard, using simple materials you already have. These liquids are packed with beneficial microorganisms that will feed your soil, protect your plants, and deliver a harvest you'll have to see to believe. Stop buying expensive commercial fertilizers. Let's get started making these zero-cost plant-boosting elixirs today. On number one, welcome to our channel. Today, we're excited to share a secret recipe that will transform your garden into a thriving oasis. We're going to show you how to create a powerful mixture that enhances soil health and promotes robust plant growth. This special blend improves your soil's water holding capacity and nutrient retention, making your garden more resilient and fertile. Stay tuned to learn how to easily make this incredible mixture at home and give your plants the best start possible. Let's dive in. In this video, we'll be making Jadam Liquid Fertilizer, an organic fertilizer created by fermenting natural materials. This is a key element of Jadam, a South Korean natural farming method focused on cultivating healthy soil ecosystems. Jadam stands for Joyful Agriculture Through Microorganisms. This is our second recipe for this amazing fertilizer. Be sure to check out our channel for more powerful fertilizer recipes. Begin by boiling the potatoes. Wash them thoroughly to remove any dirt or contaminants, then place them in a pot of water and bring it to a boil. Let the potatoes boil until they are soft and easily mashed, which usually takes about 20, 30 minutes. Once they are done, drain the water and allow the potatoes to cool slightly. After cooling, mash the potatoes thoroughly until you achieve a smooth consistency. Next, take your fully decomposed compost. This should be dark, crumbly, and free of any large, undecomposed chunks. The compost serves as a vital source of nutrients and beneficial microbes that will be activated during the fermentation process. Measure out a couple of cups of compost and set it aside. Now, add the mashed potatoes and the compost to the five-gallon bucket. Mix them together well, ensuring that the potatoes and compost are thoroughly integrated. The mashed potatoes will serve as a food source for the microbes, helping to kickstart the fermentation process. Once you have your mashed potato and compost mixture, it's time to add the brown sugar. Measure out half a cup of brown sugar and sprinkle it into the bucket. Brown sugar acts as a feed for the microorganisms, helping them to multiply and become more active. Stir the mixture well to ensure that the brown sugar is evenly distributed throughout. The next step is to fill the bucket with water. Ideally, use rainwater or non-chlorinated water to avoid harming the beneficial microbes. Fill the bucket up to about four inches from the top, leaving some space for the fermentation gases. Stir the mixture thoroughly, making sure all the ingredients are well combined. Cover the bucket loosely with a lid or cloth to keep out debris while still allowing gases to escape. Place the bucket in a shaded, warm area where it won't be disturbed. Let the mixture ferment for about 24 to 48 hours, stirring it every couple of hours to help aerate the solution and encourage microbial activity. After 24 hours, your Jadam liquid fertilizer will be ready to use. Strain the liquid through a fine mesh or cheesecloth to remove any solid particles. The resulting liquid is your concentrated fertilizer. To use it, dilute it with water at a ratio of one to 10, one part fertilizer to 10 parts water and apply it directly to the soil around your plants or as a foliar spray. 
The benefits of using Jadam liquid fertilizer are numerous. It enriches the soil with essential nutrients, promotes healthy plant growth, and enhances soil structure by increasing microbial activity. Additionally, it's an eco-friendly and cost-effective way to recycle organic waste into valuable plant food. The easiest way to support our work is to like the video. You click the following button, then on the bell. Be sure to check out our channel for more powerful fertilizer recipes. On number two. Today, we're going to share a secret recipe that will make your garden flourish like never before. We'll show you how to create a powerful mixture that boosts soil health and helps your plants grow stronger and healthier. This special blend will improve your soil's water holding capacity and nutrient retention, making your garden more resilient and fertile. Stick around to see how you can easily make this amazing mixture at home and give your plants the best start possible. Let's get started. We are going to make Jadam liquid fertilizer. Jadam liquid fertilizer is a type of organic fertilizer made by fermenting natural materials. It's a central component of Jadam, a South Korean natural farming method that emphasizes building healthy soil ecosystems. Jadam stands for joyful agriculture through microorganisms. This is our second recipe for this fertilizer. Check out our channel for more powerful fertilizers. To make this magical liquid fertilizer in a five gallon bucket, you'll need three main ingredients. 10 liters of non-chlorinated water. Ideally, you can use rainwater or get some from a river. However, if you only have access to tap water, allow it to rest for 24 hours to allow the chlorine to escape. 2.2 pounds, one kilogram, of fresh plant materials such as weeds or herbs, and 4.4 pounds, two kilogram, of fresh animal manure, which can be sourced from cows, horses, or poultry. It's important to gather these materials in sufficient quantities before starting the process. The process of making liquid fertilizer involves simple steps that prioritize natural decomposition and fermentation. Begin by placing these materials into the five gallon bucket and fill it with water, leaving some space at the top. Stir the mixture thoroughly to ensure even distribution. Cover the bucket loosely to allow air circulation and place it in a warm, sunny spot for fermentation. Stir the mixture daily to aid the fermentation process, which typically takes about one to two weeks. Fresh manure isn't suitable for immediate use. It can contain weed seeds, pests, and high levels of ammonia, which can be harmful to plants. That's why we need to let it undergo a process called composting or aging for seven days minimum. This involves allowing the manure to decompose over time, during which harmful substances break down and beneficial nutrients become more readily available. We let our mixture sit for 14 days. Now, strain the liquid to remove solid particles, resulting in nutrient-rich liquid fertilizer. After straining, dilute the liquid fertilizer with water at a ratio of one part fertilizer to 10 parts water before using it on your plants. This diluted fertilizer can be applied directly to the soil around your plants or used as a foliar spray. Remember to test the diluted fertilizer on a small area of your plants before widespread application to ensure compatibility. Any leftover liquid fertilizer should be stored in sealed containers in a cool, dark place to preserve its efficacy. Proper storage ensures that the fertilizer remains viable for several months, allowing you to utilize it as needed throughout the growing season. The easiest way to support our work is to like the video. You click the following button, then on the bell, and finally, confirm the bell.
This means a lot to us. Thank you for your support. On number three, welcome back to the garden. Are you growing tomatoes? I am, and I'm so excited. If your tomato plants have yellow flowers on top, you're on your way to getting tomatoes. But if you want better and bigger tomatoes, I have a simple homemade fertilizer recipe to share with you. You probably already have all the ingredients at home. To start, let's talk about those yellow flowers. They are more than just pretty. They will turn into your tomatoes. These flowers need to be fertilized properly, and the fertilizer I'm about to show you will help with that. It's incredibly easy to make and very good for your plants. All you need is tomato paste. Do you have some at home? If not, it's easy to find at any grocery store and very cheap. Here's how you make the fertilizer. Take two tablespoons of tomato paste. It doesn't matter what brand you use. Mix these four tablespoons into one liter of water. Stir it really well until all the chunks are gone and the mixture has a nice, deep red color. That's all it takes to create the base of your fertilizer. Once you have your quart of tomato paste solution, you can dilute it to make even more fertilizer. Add this liter to 10 liters of clear water in a bucket. Mix it all together, and now you have 11 liters of fertilizer from just one small can of tomato paste. Isn't that amazing? It's so cost-effective, costing less than a dollar, and it works wonders on your tomato plants. Now, to apply this fertilizer, I suggest using a sprayer. You can get a one-gallon pressurized sprayer, which makes it easy to spray the fertilizer directly onto the leaves of your tomato plants. This method is called top dressing. By spraying it on the leaves, you're giving the plants nutrients directly where they need it most. You still need to water the roots with regular water, but this fertilizer spray helps the top part of the plant, the leaves and blossoms. Feeding the top of the plant is important because if you only water the roots, the plant has to work harder to send nutrients up to the leaves and blossoms. By applying fertilizer to the leaves, you give the plant a double dose of nutrients, making it stronger and healthier. There are many benefits to this homemade fertilizer. It's inexpensive and purely organic, meaning it breaks down into the soil easily and feeds the microorganisms. This mixture is rich in vitamins, amino acids, and minerals like phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, and calcium, all great for your tomatoes. Another great thing about this fertilizer is that you can't overfeed your plants with it. Many commercial fertilizers are too strong and giving too much can harm the plants. But with this homemade mixture, you can apply it once a week without any worries. It's gentle and effective, ensuring your tomato plants get everything they need to grow big and healthy tomatoes. I hope you try this easy and cheap homemade fertilizer. Your tomato plants will thank you with bigger, better tomatoes. Enjoy your gardening and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. On number four. Today I will show you a supplement that the vast majority of you throw in the trash, not knowing that it is very valuable for your plants. It is extremely rich in nutrients, and your seedlings, vegetables, fruits and flowers will grow quickly and be healthy and high quality if you dose it correctly. It also improves the structure of the soil, increases the ability to retain water, and stimulates the activity of beneficial microorganisms in the soil. So stay tuned until the end of the video because I'll tell you where you can get it for free. Summer has arrived and so have watermelons. I'm sure that the vast majority of you eat watermelons, but many people don't know that watermelon rind is an excellent supplement for plants, especially in summer days, because the high water content in watermelon contributes to increasing soil moisture, which is especially useful during dry periods. 
Watermelon is rich in essential nutrients, such as nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, which are essential for healthy plant development. Here's how I make magical solution using watermelon rinds. Wash the watermelon rind, cut it into small pieces, and put it in a blender. Add a little warm water. I will blend and make about five kilograms of this solution of warm water and watermelon rinds. Dilute with another 10 liters of water. If you want a stronger version of it, add one liter of compost tea if you have it. I will leave the solution for about 48 hours before using it. After 48 hours, it will be ready to use. Water the plants once or twice a month. To further enhance the benefits of this natural supplement, it's important to understand how it works and why it's so effective. Watermelon rind contains essential nutrients like nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. These nutrients are vital for plant growth and development. Nitrogen is crucial for the growth of leaves and stems. Potassium helps with the overall functioning of the plant and phosphorus is important for root development and flower and fruit production. Moreover, the organic matter in watermelon rind improves soil structure. When you blend the rind and mix it into the soil, it helps to create a loose, crumbly texture that allows roots to penetrate easily. This improved soil structure also enhances the soil's ability to retain water, ensuring that your plants have a consistent supply of moisture. Dear friends, I hope you found the video interesting. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with your friends. Thank you very much.